water slime recipe right now. So for this one, you're going to be needing some shampoo and some water, of course, because it is a water slime recipe. you have some water and soap in your bowl you want to give it a mix but don't mix too fast because you do not want any air bubbles especially because when you mix soap with water obviously it bubbles up because it's soap at this point you can color your slime i chose some orange food coloring Once you think your soap is ready to activate it, let it sit for 30 minutes so that some of the water can evaporate out. And also you can add some glitter in or any add-ins before you let it sit so that it's ready once you want to activate it. I added in this packet of iridescent white glitter. Now it is time to activate it. I'm gonna be using some salt, but you could also turn this into a cream of tartar slime recipe if you want to. You will notice that it definitely clumps up once you add in the salt and the more salt you add in, the more thick the texture is, but you do not want to add in too much salt or else the texture will go back to water, which is really bad because you can't reactivate it at that point. After that ingredient combination, this is what your slime should look like. I got this shower gel for a video a while ago and I kind of forgot about it, so we are going to be testing out another recipe with it. You want to add a shower gel of your choice to a bowl, and then you want to add in a teaspoon of water. And then you want to not even mix it and just put it straight into the freezer for 10 minutes. And in the video I saw it turned into slime, but for me it was still soap and it didn't really work at all. For me, this recipe was a fail, but I have definitely seen it work for other people, and I've tried similar recipes, and it has worked for me, so I suggest you guys try it out. As you guys probably saw in the thumbnail of this video, we are going to be testing out some bubblegum slime. You want to take some bubblegum. I'm using this hubba bubba that I got at Michael's, I think, and you just want to tear up the bubblegum into small pieces until you think they could probably melt in the microwave if you were to melt them just going to tear these strips that I cut off into small pieces and then what you want to do is add them to your bowl with a little bit of water and once you have small pieces of the bubble gum add them to a microwave safe bowl add in a little bit of your water to make your water slime recipe and then go microwave it this is what mine turned out like and I saw it work for Wenji and it has definitely worked for me too but I don't know if it was just an off day for the bubble gum it just didn't work so that recipe was a fail but later I will test out a recipe which looks literally like clear bubble gum so look out for that. I could not make a no glue slime video without adding in a shampoo slime. So we're gonna be testing out a shampoo water slime. Off you want to add a shampoo into a bowl, preferably a really thick texture one because those ones work really well for this type of recipe. You can add some food coloring in. I was feeling a green slime and the shampoo wasn't green enough. And then you want to add some water. I did an even ratio, but you can add a little bit less water if you want the texture to be a little bit thicker. And then you want to mix it until the texture is basically the same as the soap originally was. After a lot of stirring, you should definitely see the texture has thickened up, even though you have not added in salt. And then you want to put it in an airtight container and store it in your refrigerator for two days and the texture should have turned out something like this.
have not tested out a face mask slime in a really long time on this channel, so I picked up this face mask at Target, and we're gonna be testing a face mask slime right now together. The first step, obviously, is cutting open your face mask. I don't know why, but whenever I'm opening packages, I always think I can open them without scissors, and then I end up taking a really long time opening it, and then I finally give in and get scissors. But anyways, you want to take your face mask, open it up, and then put it in a bowl. With your activator of your choice, I use borax water. You could also use contact lens solution, but you definitely want to add in baking soda as well. You want to activate your slime to reveal your perfect clear slime. This is actually the one I photographed for the thumbnail that you guys saw with the bubble gum. So as you guys can see, it turned out really well and it was super crystal clear, which is always super nice in a slime. I love clear slimes, especially when you don't have to wait forever for the slime to clear up. Personally, one of my very favorite YouTubers of all times is Zoella, and when I saw she released these soap pops in her beauty line, I bought them right away to see if we can make them into a water slime. In a bowl of water, you want to add a bar of soap and melt it in the microwave. Be cautious when you're doing this and make sure your bowl is microwave safe. Use any soap, but I thought these ones were so cute. This is what the bar of soap looks like after it is melted in the microwave. Once the texture is kind of like a glossy shaving cream, you know you're ready to activate it. And you can use your activator of your choice, but I use some salt and I let it soak in for a minute. And then once I mixed it, it definitely was starting to turn into slime. Touched it, it was too sticky. And then when I added more activator, it was starting to melt. So after all that, this slime recipe didn't end up working out for me.